Hey, what's up? This is VBACnet. Um, today I'm going to show you how to extract usernames from YouTube website. Uh, it's actually pretty simple. We're going to do this today with VB.net. Um, what you're going to need is uh, two buttons. A web browser. And let's go ahead and put a list box in there. Let me find my list box. There we go. Alright, first things first on form load. Let's do web browser dot navigate. And we're gonna to wanna to put it to YouTube browse website. Okay. Whoops, forgot my one. There we go. Alright. Okay, now let's go ahead and add two timers. I'm going to do it this way because I'm kind of tired and asleep, but there's many different ways you can go about doing this. Let's go ahead and set the interval of these timers uh, to 5,000 each. Okay. Alright, now let's go into button one here. And let's start the code. Get our four each in. Alright, now we're going to look for element. Okay, this is looking for an element with the class name of video username. do here is replace some unwanted text which is by and then a space we're gonna replace it with nothing add it to our list box goob there we go alright now after this next right here put timer one to Enabled equals true. Okay, all set up. Alright, now let's go on a timer one real quick. Alright, let's add button two. That perform click. Timer one dot enabled equals false. There we go. Alright, and now what we're going to do is go on a button two. Go with the for each element. We're going to search for all the HTML elements in the web page. Now, what I'm doing here is searching for a class equaled yt dash uix dash pager dash link and what this is is the button that will browse to the next page and what we're going to do with that button is we're going to click it all right after we got the next page now we'll go ahead and do timer two that enabled equals true now let's go ahead and go into the timer two One dot perform click. And now timer two dot enable equals false. Alright, and that should basically be it for extracting usernames from a browse website. Let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. We'll test it out and make sure I got everything. the trigger. Make sure we got everything. Okay, let's test her out. And there we go. 
Just gonna click to the next page. Yeah. All right, page two. And there you have it. Now you can basically play around with it with uh, really however you want. You can make it so if you click a username, you can either go to their channel or extract their videos off of YouTube or download their videos individually, comment, add friends, subscribe, basically create your own bot if you want to. Alright, well that's basically it for me. Uh, let me go ahead and paste this in the notepad for you all together. Kind of give you an idea what's going on up front just in case you didn't see that code. Okay, here's button one. Form one, load. Button two. Timer two. And timer one. Alright, there you guys have it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I helped you out in some way. Alright, have a good day.